Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. I came across this file on a Titans of CNC post where a user was wondering how to go about drawing something like this, and I thought it was sort of a fun little file. So I want to do a run through on how I might go about drawing this. And the things I want to emphasize with this is that I'm not going to do any trimming um, or construction lines, and I'm pretty much going to do the whole thing with the slot command. Uh, we're going to do a couple other commands in there as well, but Mostly just the slot command is what we can use to do it. So let's get started. I want to create a sketch up on the top plane. You can choose whatever plane you want. And I'm going to start out about with a slot and then a center point slot located at the origin. And it's going to kind of roughly drag this out. And that's all I'm going to start out with. And now I can dimension this. And the dimension between centers is 4.133. And we'll dimension one of the radiuses at the end. And that's going to be 0 0.709. And then I've got my slot defined. I'm going to do one thing on this. I'm going to draw a line from uh, the quadrant to the quadrant of this arc. Because when I extrude this, I'm only going to extrude the upper half and not the lower half. Uh, but Fusion will handle that just fine. So I've got that drawn in. My next step is to kind of draw the, the, curv the curvy slot. So to do that, I'm going to start out with the create. We're going to go slot center point arc slot. I'm going to anchor it to the center point right here and then pick a couple points out here, not being too careful about what I'm doing. So that works right there. Now I want to come back and dimension that. And this radius on the inside is going to be 2.362. We'll get that down. And then I'll dimension one of these radiuses right here. And that radius is going to be 0.236. And then now we just have to uh, define the distance between the slots and, and the angle between this uh, off this vert horizontal axis, I should say. So I'm going to start the dimension command, and I'm going to click on this point, this point, and this point. And now Fusion allows me to dimension that as 40 degrees. And I'm going to repeat the process again for this point, this point, and this point. And I'm going to set that to be 20 degrees. So there was a little trick uh, we saw in a, the last video I did as well, uh, where you don't have to draw any construction geometry to define the angles between those centers. So that gets me all set for that. Now I'm going to do that again one more time uh, with a slot, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and do a slot, center point slot one more time. And I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. Now, I found a little issue with Fusion here. So when I go ahead and click there, and I click there, and I drag this out, that's exactly what I want. I'm just going to go ahead and add my radius value on here, which is going to be to the outside. We're going to go ahead and add a value here of 0.59. And you'll notice that what Fusion does is it doesn't define the whole thing as being fully defined. And what I found is if I were to drag on this blue stripe or this blue uh, arc, you can see I can move it around. So I can either make those two concentric or coincident, whichever is your choice. Maybe I'll do concentric between this arc and that arc. And now you can see we're all black and fully defined. And that's all I'm going to do for drawing on this part uh, so far. So I'm going to go finish this, go to my home view, and I'm going to do an extrude. And I'm just going to do the, the parts that I want. So I just want to grab those. And I didn't see a thickness on this drawing, so we'll do something like an eighth of an inch. And go ahead and hit OK. And that's all I'm going to do to draw the majority of the geometry here. We're going to add a couple fillet radiuses. So I'm going to pick the fillet radius through the part right there. And that radius is going to be 0.394 or 354, I think it might be. And then we're going to go ahead and do one more fillet radius. And I'm going to click on this point right here. And that's going to be 1.062. Go ahead and hit enter. And there is... Uh, half of my part with the fillets added. So to go ahead and get the other half, I'm going to choose to create a pattern, a circular pattern, and I have to choose what type I want to come. Now typically it comes up as faces. I'm going to switch mine to be bodies here because I want to do the entire body. And I'll just go ahead and select that body. And now I'm going to choose an axis. Because I drew this where I did, I can just use this blue Z axis here and tell Fusion that I want two of them and go ahead and hit OK. Uh, I've still got a little problem because I have two bodies instead of one. So we'll go and combine it. Click on this body and this body and hit OK. And there's my shape. Now the only thing I haven't done is there's a couple holes on this part. And there's two ways I could go about doing that. I could draw each one of these holes as individual features. I don't necessarily like that because if I want to change the size of one of the holes, I have to remember to do it twice. 
So what I'm going to do instead is say I want to create a sketch on this face and I'm not even going to project to do anything. I'm just going to go ahead and say finish sketch. Because I have a certain option turned on, if I go to my name and preferences, and when this comes up under the general, I'm sorry, under the uh, design tab, I have auto project geometry and active sketch plane. I believe that is the default option inside of Fusion. So anything that I choose on the face of a part is going to be automatically projected. If I expand out my bodies folder and turn that off, you can see the hidden profile that's there. It's turned invisible, the edges are, but you can still see that closed profile sketch region. So now what I can do is just start the whole command. And if I move my mouse around, eventually what I can do is find that point, that center point that I need. And Fusion will pick that up even though I didn't project anything in. So I'm just going to say my distance is going to be all. The diameter of these two holes that I want is going to be 0.472, which is the last size that I've used when I did this. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And there is our completed part. We only had to draw half of it. We only had to add two fillets and uh, none, no trimming and no construction geometry. So I hope you guys find these videos sort of fun. They're really good little practice exercises to help sharpen and hone up your fusion sketching and modeling skills. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.